Welcome to our program. It's always a pleasure to have you watching with us. A very special welcome to all of you who are watching on Channel 23 Comcast right here in Boston. Channel 83, the RCN cable system. A very special welcome to all of you who are watching us on that. And also, that's right, we are now worldwide. The show is now global. We can, we can be seen on bnntv.org. We have a special program for you tonight. As you know, the program talks about certain things in the entertainment industry, more specifically film television, theater, stand-up comedy, all of those things we're going to talk about a little bit tonight. My co-host, Jim Sayer, is with me, and we have three special guests. Jim, we have Laurie Fizzola, we have no, Tyron, Tyrone Alcorn, and we have Lee Smith. And uh, it's going to be a great show. We hit, all, we hit the nail on the head tonight. We've got the comedy, we have the drama, and we have artistic. Laurie and I had a, uh, Laurie, if I can say this, Laurie, you and I had somewhat of a, a scene together we almost did. a year ago. We're going to talk about a little, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. 617-708-3280, 617-708-3280. It's your chance to call in and ask questions on the program tonight. That's right, folks. Our operators are now standing by. Our phone banks are now open. Jim, what's going on here in Boston? We're doing the judge. In Shavin Falls, it's a little bit of a ride out there, a two-hour ride. I took mm -hmm. it last week, and it's um, Robert Downey Jr. and Robert DeVal. Mm -hmm. And Vincent D'Onofrio. Yes. And home of Bill Cosby. Yes. Mr. It's and like Ma he, Mayberry up there. It is. It's very I'm telling it's you, picturesque. it's awesome. Well, There's food co-ops. They yes. have art co-ops. It's like you don't even feel like you're in Massachusetts. You feel like you're in Vermont. We'll it's see Massachusetts minutes. has all of these different things it's to It's really us. nice. People are nice. I met all the town people hanging out. Mm. Drinking, eating. Friendly. Friendly, very friendly, very, very friendly. nice, very artistic. Everybody's into art. Now, what I, is this, what's this movie about? I guess it's about a murder. That's all mm. I know. And the judge is Robert uh, Duvall. And oh, boy. He takes it to an extreme that they think he's on the take. Yeah. I believe. There's stunt driving in there, too. So I've done stunt driving before. Really? Into darkness, yeah. I was trained by Gary Powell, which is one of the best mm -hmm. stunt drivers out of England. He trained all the born supremacists and evil Knievels. Mm -hmm. He's worldwide known. Um, the stunt driving, not a lot of it. I met the stunt coordinator. It's just little back and forth. But you know who drove a pickup truck? The Bear. Did he? Yes, one of our fellow um, I, colleagues. I wouldn't have thought you were involved in precision driving. I did stunt fighting, too, and grown-ups, too. See, everything, everybody Don't does everything Don't just look at this pretty this face. I can fight, too. <laughs> everybody does everything different right. in this business. That's right. That's right. You have to. I've been trained, though. My brother had two black belts growing up, and he was a right. boxer in the North End. So I, my brother, he's 6'3", he taught me how to fight and everything. Nice. Yeah, I grew up in the city. I grew up in the hood. I didn't have to know how to fight. So all of these different roles that come up, you can certainly apply for many of them. I played a lot of different roles. <laughs> you know, I was just on a talk show, AM 1120, and they asked me when I started to act. I said, I've been acting my whole life. Right. Every day I go and out, I, I have we, to act. We feel you that know what I mean? Too. Like, mm -hmm. seriously. Don't take it seriously, but everybody knows that what a great actor this guy is. Yes, he is. is. Tyrone. He is That's Tyrone. right, Tyrone Alcorn. Now, Tyrone, you've, you're no stranger to the show. No, no. Uh, I, I'm a, now a friend of the show as well as, I don't know, I feel like a Even on a few second co-host, so there to speak. You um, yeah, I've been on a few times, and I appreciate every time you guys have uh, brought me on. And when you've been on before, you were talking about what you're going to talk about tonight, because that was in yes, development. That was in development. Um, it is now reality. It's called The Acts of Parenting. It's a stage right. play. Um, to my left, I have our artistic director and uh, director and producer of the play, Lee Smith, okay. and uh, he can go in more, in more in depth about it. Okay, Lee, welcome yes. to the program. Thank this you. is your first time. Uh, in the Moment Entertainment yes. presents this play that's coming up when? In about a week or two? Is uh, that yes, um, it's going to be Friday um, uh, the 28th and mm -hmm. Saturday the 29th. Okay, and that's local. That's right yes, here in uh, Boston. Yes, at the um, uh, Blackstone Community Center. And that's right here in the South End, yes. not far from where we are oh. right now. Uh, you can walk there. Okay. Uh -huh. Give us a little idea about this. Um, the Acts of Parenting or In the Moment? Uh, the acts of parenting, because okay, that's parenting. what people are, the, in the moment, I know both of you are going to talk about it a little right. bit. Right. We've talked about that when you were here before. Yeah. Um, the acts of parenting um, is a, a stage play for the entire family. I want to just put that out there. Yes, uh, definitely. Many plays are not for the whole entire family because of, you know, certain type of material, whatever. Right. Um, but this is for the whole entire family. And it's about um, family um, and the extended parenting role. Uh, parenting is not just mom, dad, you know, so on yeah. and so forth. It's grandparents, 
as uh, it's been said recently, it takes a, a village. A village. Yes. <coughs> and this that sort of plays on that, where it takes mm. a village. So true. And I don't want to give too much away, but uh, yeah. So you have like the, the reality of parenting as you know, with the village. Definitely. Um, whereas um, you, <laughs> our you tribe, have, you have the, the young person's point of view. Mm -hmm. You have older person's point of view, yeah. and you have sort of the, the where the parents would be their point of view. Right. And, it's uh, actually called yeah. the sandwich generation right yeah, now. Yeah. That's yes. what I'm in. Yeah. The sandwich generation. We're all in, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's the hottest job I ever had, and believe because me. It is. The aging of the population. And right. not that yes. I'm complaining. Yes. I've been right. working since I was 12, you know. Lemonade stands, Ditto. this and that. Uh, you you yes. know the thing, right? right? Cans on the street. Oh, yeah, the whole nine yards. Whatever you do to survive. Yeah. Yeah. And now, would people yeah. have an opportunity to go to this? Give us the dates again. And um, Friday, the... Um, the, the 28th right. of uh, June, it's going to be at um, the Blackstone Community Center, right. 50 uh, West Brookline, I believe, in Boston. Yes, uh, Brookline. South End. No, um, Boston Medical Center. Right, yes. Exactly, exactly. There, right. mm -hmm. um, the time will be um, 7, 7 o'clock on Friday, right. 7 p.m. on Friday. On Saturday, the show is at 2 o'clock. And it's, it's, it's produced by In the Moment In the Moment Entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah, That's written, a nice Actually, name. it was written by Lee Smith also. That's, That's right. You, That's right? cool. That's cool. That's right. But tell us about you. Are you Me? from here? Like what's well, your Well, um, I grew up in the South End. I'm from Alabama originally. But you're you local pretty much here because you've oh, been this here is, this for a while. I love South End. Yeah. Um, 30 years here. And uh, we went, to, went with Institute. Um, mm -hmm. um, went to Boston Tech. Then went to uh, oh, also Boston Latin. Um, this is my life. Yeah, Boston. Boston. I love Boston. I know, even though you you say you're from, but you are Boston, you know? Oh, he's Boston, <laughs> exactly, yes. Yeah, right? He's got you're like, the accent from the South. I have an accent? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, I can, can switch. Change. I'm an actor. I, I do this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now, I'm acting. <laughs> but, but, but can you Boston? say park the car in Harvard Yard? Park the car in Harvard Yard? <laughs> no, it's park the car in Harvard Yard, go across the bottom by me in the back. Oh, oh, I can't even get that <laughs> far. That Boston oh, accent is, is, is an asset, too. Even though we, we dropped it, but we have it as well. We can fall back on it because yes. that's an asset. As yeah. you well know, people. You know, it is actually, now. Yeah. You, know, you know what I've experienced? <clears throat> I was born and raised in Cambridge and Boston. My dad's mm -hmm. from West Roxbury. My mom was from Cambridge, so I lived in both places. But, you know, I moved away. I lived in Miami. I lived in New York. But when I came back home, mm -hmm. I didn't get auditions because I was actually, my parents are from here, so my ear was trained as a Bostonian, you know, with a right. thick Boston right. accent. Right. So I didn't even know. I took a class at, with Ann Baker at, at um, Boston Casting, a mm -hmm. commercial class. She made me go to a speech pathologist. She thought I had, like, a speech issue. <clears throat> so because I went so with severe. Emerson. I paid the yeah. money, cash, and everything. The lady says, you don't have a problem. Just slow down. Right. Pronunciate. Because, right. exactly. I mean, I, exactly. I'm like you. I went to great, you know, Cambridge Public Schools where we had the best innovation exactly. education. Right. Not that I'm well-educated or anything, but I didn't get... I got labeled as, oh, that's that Boston girl. She right, doesn't know how. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't get it. When the town came, I didn't even get an audition. I'm half Irish. I was mad. <laughs> My grandma's name was Bridget Murphy. I was so mad. But that's the nature of the business. Yeah, that's, that's the, the, the nature, yeah. That's that's the nature, that's the nature they, of the business. Of course, the business. they always cast people from New York and L.A., right. you know. They don't even yeah. cast us people. But you've worked, you know, you've worked in a lot. You and I worked in a Well, you know where I got discovered? Like, I did theater in um, right. Bunker Hill, and I went to UMass, and I did some... Um, communications and theater there, but I never finished my degree. But I, independence, like now I'm working on comedy, like he's right. stand-up comedy, comedy. I'm doing a training in Hong Kong, Cambridge. I'm working on a film with one of a major producer from um, The Fighter. Rick Jenkins? No, Dot with, with, from with The Ma Fighter. Rick Jenkins um, from the Hong Kong. Yeah. I mean, I'm working on a lot of independence right. because I know my friends right. where I grew up. Ben Affleck and all them. Right. Vin Diesel, I knew before he made it, but and the only way you can really make it is you write your script, yeah. you submit it, you market it, try back or whatever, and that's it. And a lot of people exactly. are watching. Because yes. the numbers right. are against you if you go to auditions. The odds are against you. you know, I'm sorry, that's the way it is. Right. When Jim and I have been doing the show for quite some time, and a lot of people are watching the show, and they'll say to us, they'll say, you know, that's a great show, but we want to be part of this too. Exactly. You know, we want to be part of this business too. And then all, all these movie companies are coming here because of the tax breaks, and Jim yes. and I are going to talk about that. And all of these different people in Boston have an opportunity to work in these projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they're saying, well, I want to be part of this, too. You know, and the thing is, I don't mean that I'm bashing, like, Boston cast or anything. They've helped me a long way. Actually, Angela Pe Perry got me my SAG card. She gave me stand-in work. I did stand-in work for great people, Tatum O'Neill, Drea Tomato Sopranos, Blythe Dander, who's a tell, great theater. Just for the benefit yeah. of the audience, tell us what a stand-in does. Stand-in, uh, James, we've done stand-in together. Right. So in Bruce theater, Willis? stand-in is... <clears throat> <laughs> The basis is, right. in theater, stand is, you're the understudy. Right. The main character, 
You have to learn the lines. You have to learn anything because God forbid if anything happens to him, you need to go right in. Right. In movies, it can be mm -hmm. like that too. You get close with the director, the producer. You build relationship, working relationships. They know who you are. It's a great way You're to start. You're sort of like that person. You're you have to kind of look like them. Yeah. It depends on what the director wants. Some are not picky. Some are. You know, you might have, like, look at, like, James looked like a major star. You know, you have to be their height, their skin color, or some attribute like them. Right. You have to be reliable. You have to be there in a dime. And you do have to learn the lines. Yeah, because I mean, Richard Taniano, God rest his soul, taught me this on Fever Pitch. He's taught me a lot about acting. You got to know the lines. Because when right. I was on Bunker Hill, they said, say the lines. Because they need to know how everything fits. The you movements. know, because you're right. theater. Yeah. Right. John, John, we got a phone call. We do. Jim, we have a phone call. Can we have your question, please? Hello? Hi, yes. This question, hi, yes. This question is for Lee Smith. Okay. Um, I was just wondering, what, what made you write the play? Did you draw upon examples from your own family or from, from families? What, what inspired you to write the play? I love questions like that. Okay. Um, you know... A lot of writers, and it, from real life actually, to tell you the truth, you know, to make a long story short, but just to lengthen it a little bit, uh, from my own experiences, I'm a very observant person. I see people. Um, my um, thing is psychology also as far as family and counseling and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, from life, people, um, the thing is I want to make the show people friendly. Mm -hmm. I mean, in life you have controversy, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, no matter how much you love someone, there's going to be some conflict somewhere. Um, so I draw on those type of things, and I, and I, I guess the way I sublimate it is to put it in my writing, to yeah. put it in my theater, theater right. rather. And when well, I you're direct, being real because everybody has yeah, it has to be real. Yeah, yeah. Conflict yeah. is what yes. this whole business that's is based on. That's what acting is about. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's what it is. Wow. Conflict what is are you what fighting this whole business for? You know. Is. Exactly. So I guess the answer to the question, and I thank you for um, addressing me first. <laughs> no, um, is that I take it from real life, right. not just my own, but others, because we all share in certain things. Yeah. So it's not just my story or maybe something like it's my universal. story. It's universal. Exactly, universal. Yeah. You, have no, have a, you have to have an ear for this. So you have to listen. Even when you're on the set, yes. you, if you listen and watch, you'll pick up a lot of good stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. It's like an education alone. Like a lot of people ask me, I've done a lot of extra work. You know what? That's like a free education. You know, we've worked oh, yeah. together. We all work together. Yeah. You learn everything. You can go to school and find that, but it's like on-the-job yeah, training. Right. You ha I would... I would suggest to anybody try it. If you really want to get into this field, you should try extra work. And you know what? When you were saying that, I was thinking of something. You mentioned stand-up comedy. Now, this may not seem related, folks, but everything in this business really is. Mm -hmm. People in stand-up comedy it use these things, these social yeah. pathologies that they're involved with. Oh, totally, from their yeah. yeah. He knows. Yeah. He's the professional. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like therapy in a way. <laughs> Thank you. It's, oh like, it's like therapy in a way. Right. And um, where you take you, simple observations. That's what they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Yes. Well, you, you're theater, right? So if you yes, look uh, at Shakespeare, yes, I love most strategy uh, is comedy. Yeah. Oh. So, I mean, that's the basis. That's the foundation. Yeah. You, that's the best you can get. It, 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 in a way, it has to be. But you need something. Look, if everything in, in theater and film was um, nice, everything was cool. It wouldn't very, be interesting. My goodness, mm. It wouldn't be. No one would watch. It, no it, one it, would come out. What, right? what would be interesting about a Tennessee Williams play if all this conflict didn't exist? Exactly. People right. would say, what's... Well, Good yeah. point. And, and, How famous and, and, is War and Peace? My goodness. And Tyrone, like you said, I think before on the show, you made mistakes. You've been on oh, live, yeah. and you're on the stage, and all of a <laughs> no. sudden you bombed. But you learned from that, oh, and you yeah. grew, and that's why you kept on going. You that's, didn't quit. No, and, and that's the thing is, no matter what you do mm -hmm. in, in life, uh, in, in this business, you fall down on your face, that's get right. back up, try it again, keep going until you get what you mm -hmm. want. Um, the biggest, I think the biggest thing, um, like you guys said earlier, is writing, producing your own, mm -hmm. and marketing, learning yep. the debt, debt on the head. And you uh, have to market uh, yourself right. and you your product. Well, that's this whole idea. And we're we idea. colleagues. Yeah. Right. We've been doing this a long time. Right. And we got to stick together. Yes. We really do. I'm, I'm so totally into that, like community yes. and on Boston people, because, you know, you go to auditions, and I've been up against big people, mm -hmm. Amy Adams, yeah, Susan really. Costello. You know you've been up against the big uh, wigs. Yeah. And they always seems to pick somebody who's out of New York, L.A. that has an agent. There's no agents in Boston. We're a free agent. Well, so we got to stick is. together and promote ourselves. So true. That's how I feel. So true. Yeah. yeah Boston, Boston is like that. They're very prolific as far as that. They're very, um, Boston's very outgoing. Mm -hmm. um, Certain other states, and I won't, you, won't, mm -hmm. I won't mention any states because I don't want any phone calls from states hating me, but um, <laughs> Boston is one of the most active entrepreneurial states yes. ever, anywhere. 
Right. Um, because you have to do yeah. it yourself. Um, I write, I direct and produce and so on and so forth because I have to. Right. I've been acting since I was a kid also. I, was, I came out acting. Yeah. You know, the clown of the family mm -hmm. and jokes and everything right. else. Welcome. Um, I love it, but I moved on to directing and, and I, I sort of teach acting mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Now, with the, with the community, yes. and, and you know, Laurie and Jim and myself, mm -hmm. member of the Screen Actors Guild, and I, you've done an, an enormous amount of work yeah. here in the city as well. You've allowed the community to get actually involved with this. I mean, you're, you're taking yeah. from the community itself. Yeah. These, right. This play, exactly. this play has people in it yes. that are from the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, the, uh, marketing. If you, if you use people from the community, people are going to come to see their friends, family, whatever. Right. I mean, you know, unfortunately, we have to do things like that. It's a device in a way, right. but it's about them. But we're it's giving them story. an opportunity, just yeah. like the exactly. acting world. Look yeah. at the act. Look at the the, the amount of. Uh, of talented people yes. right here with the Well, you know what community. another yes. way you can look at it too cuz I mean I grew up disadvantaged in, in the city but it's a way for these children or teenagers or right. even adults right. that don't have all the tools of education yes. to self-express yes. themselves and then they discover who they are and they get through it, any life challenges yeah. and adversities it's without a, going to all these therapy groups. It's, it's a catharsis. Yeah, it's, you know. Jim, do like, we have another call? Go ahead, John, you're up again. Okay, we have another <laughs> question, I think. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Uh, hi, Laurie. I have a question for Laurie. Okay. I was wondering who her favorite actress is, and is she interested in a dramatic part? Is there some part she hasn't played that she'd like to play? Oh, I have. I actually have. Oof, Tell tons us. Of favorite That's actresses. interesting. <laughs> Um, you know, I got to say Juliet Lewis because for like 20 something years people say I look like her and she's pretty intense. I like versatile actresses mm -hmm. that can do anything. Play right. a glamorous person to a crackhead. That's, that's the whole uh, idea of Charlene acting. Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole right? idea. Charlene exactly. Charlene. Yeah. Charlene. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Yes. I just yes. worked on set with her at Half Hill to McCoy's. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know it was her. I was this yeah. close. Right. That right. lady's drop dead gorgeous, and now she's producing. Exactly. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. Yes. Right. You have so to I can't that. really pick mm -hmm. one, but I think there was a couple of roles that I like personally that I did with my local friends. And one, I played a crackhead, which was great. <laughs> I played right. a mistress. I played. An FBI agent with you, right. a correction officer. I mean, I have, there's so many different roles. Yeah, eclectic background. That's yeah. what you got to yeah. do. You, yeah. you got to wear have to many do that. hats. Yeah. Exactly. You have yeah. Like directing, yeah. writing, yeah. acting. Exactly. Everybody likes to throw the hat in the ring because yeah. they can do anything. Right. It's true. I like to yeah. dig deep and do something that's kind of out of my character. Like I'm a clown. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. That comes mm -hmm. easy yeah. to me. Yeah. So for me to do something dramatic, maybe like a murder scene or something right. like that, mm -hmm. that would be pretty intense. Yeah. That would probably yeah. be my best thing. You might like it. Yeah, I yeah, know. It's always good for someone to do something <laughs> opposite themselves. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a nice person, every nice person wants to be a bad guy in a movie. Yeah. yeah. Wants to wear the, um, the other hat for yeah. a second. Everyone. And I guarantee you'll be really good at it. Well, that's, yeah, because yeah. you dig deep. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like yes. you dig into a yeah. toolbox and you're like, you see this. In one of my favorite movies, when movies touch me, is like Precious. Like, when I was watching that movie, I wanted to jump to that screen and kill that <laughs> family. Like, I'm like, how could you ever do that? You know, you have yeah. to. In yeah. acting, you have to touch stuff that's emotional. Phone call again, John. Mm. Okay, Jim, do we have another phone call? Yes, we do. Can we have your <laughs> question, please? Hey, this is Lady Love. I got a call. I got a question for Mr. Alcorn, Mr. Old Dirty. <laughs> how you doing? I'm good. How you? You're psychic. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Listen, what you got going on? I know you're a stand-up comedian. Can you please, please enlighten us on what's happening here in Boston, man? You know, for real, for real. <laughs> With all this mess that's going on, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. What we do as a people, white, black, Puerto Rican, Chinese, Japanese, Cape Verde, and Cuban. <laughs> what can we do that stop all this violence in the community, man? Let's talk about that script. Okay. Uh, that, that was um, one of my good, good, good um, comedian friends, Lady Love. She's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what she's referring to briefly to, to, to get off the entertainment subject is all the violence and everything that's going on in mm -hmm. our city. And one of the things that in the moment this entertainment is, this is part of is, that, mm -hmm. right? Is this going is exactly to uh, try to do going forward right. yes. um, is is to work with our young people, yeah. um, it, you know, uh, workshops. Right. Um, yeah. uh, Lee and I have talked about writing something specifically um, for the teenagers, like a PSA. So, uh, no, no, a play. Oh, a play. To get them involved right. and yeah. get them from a proactive, acting, and also yeah, from a proactive and, and yeah. producing yeah. something right. exactly. um, that exactly. they will eventually, you know, show to right. the community. So, you know, we're, we're definitely doing our part as 
Um, Lady Love and the rest of you know, you know, I've been doing my part since I was 19 years old. I come home from college and I've been coaching in the city baseball, football, right. you name it. Um, you know, I've, I've coached it. So, so in in the moment of entertainment, there's a social plus entertainment factor that we're doing. Yeah. Yes. Here. Yes. There's yes. truly a mission. Um, yeah. When, yeah. You said yeah. proactive. Right. 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 Yeah. Truly it, a mission. It is proactive, as you said. Right. That's one of the main missions is to be right. proactive. Oh, right. Um, yeah. You know, early childhood. You know, the earlier you learn things, the earlier you make things. Uh, you program yourself for certain yeah. things. No, you're right. That becomes yeah. your. That's that's your core. Yep. Regardless of what happens in life, you come back to your core. You do. You, you do. know, whether it's religion, yeah. whether yes. it's uh, peace so in the true. family, whether it's violence, whatever, you come back to your core. Right. Yeah. Um, I was raised by my mom. She raised seven kids by herself, you know. Um, so I was one of those statistics, so to speak. But and all seven kids turned out well. You know, I'm just a middle child. I'm just an example. Yeah. So you can live in the city. You can have a tough childhood and go through violence and mm -hmm. live on tough mm -hmm. streets and still turn out to be proactive as far or maybe anti-violent. Yeah. Um, I teach martial arts also, so that's not a violent thing. No, no, no. That's just something that's... that says control um, yourself in your right. environment. Right, right. So, we, I guess getting back to the point is that we try to get to the neighborhoods mm -hmm. before the other element gets to the neighborhood. Yeah. Right. And that's our, one of our, our goals also. It's, it's, it's hard to do it's like afterwards, in, in but, a, you know. In a, it's, um, what do they call it now? Innovation. Like, not innovation, but um, when somebody, intervention. intervention. You know, like, people On have, different levels, yeah. Exactly. Going back to that question that, that that young lady had a little bit ago for you, mm -hmm. when we look, she asked you who your favorite actor was, actress was. Mm -hmm. That's a role model for you, too. That's a big, that's an influential part you know, of I your don't, life, too. I don't too. pick that like that. I pick strong people, like you said. Mm -hmm. Like, I was raised in the projects, you know, and mm -hmm. people look at me and they think I had a silver spoon. I never did. And I don't, you know, but I, they, like you said, religion, mm -hmm. there was this lady, Stephanie right. Brown and Joe Brown. They came from the South. Right. And they, my, they mentored my mother. And through the time tops, and we went, they watched me. And I'll never remember that. I grew up Roman Catholic. They took me to a Baptist church. I will never forget the things they did. I'm getting chills on me because I was young and I'll never forget the things and that stays with me it through does. tough it times. Does. It does. Adversity, strength and adversity and you go on yes. through life. I mean, as, as an actor, you can get that message across too. Yes. Oh, definitely. That's what I mean. Day, even exactly. Even That's what I'm saying. When I meet, listen, right. I went through so much stuff in life. I see some kid and I know this, some pain. I will sit there and talk to him. I used to be right. a counselor at Harvard when I was like 14 years old. Mm. That That's my mission as a person, as a single mother. Uh -huh. You right. know, and mm -hmm. I, because you know what? People have helped me through my life, and that's how I got to where I am. Not through education. Life John, education. Yeah. Uh -huh. We have another call. Phone call. Yeah. We have another phone call. Can we have your question, please? Yeah, hi, John. I was listening to Lady Love call in, and she's talking about <laughs> community. And you know, there's a lot of empty stages around in churches and schools that are not used anymore. And, and if a uh -huh. uh, community could tell their stories on these stages and have some, uh, oh, students, famous, uh, somebody to write the plays, it doesn't have to be fancy, but they could come together with a, a play on a stage uh, with all amateurs. And, uh, everybody. Oh, that's that's uh, a good uh, point. Yeah. A lot of stages in our community, of course, you've taken yeah. advantage of that, and, and, and we can actually do these projects right. here. Right. We, have the, we have the people, we know that. Mm -hmm. We have the facilities yes. as well. You I, need to bring arts back in the community schools. Of course. Exactly. Of course. Totally oh, my goodness. Exactly. Um, arts, arts yeah. Big. yeah. You know, we have the facilities. We, what we need, we need something to get all these things together. You know, we have um, the, the material as far as paper. It's the funding. The basic fine. We, that Maybe also, a consortium, that also. perhaps. You know, could I, could I, I would suggest something like that. Yeah. yeah. It would. It right. would. Yeah. It's like, you know how you say you advocate? You got to right. get a petition together. Like, we all petitioned together the mass film tax, and they heard right. us. I, our state representatives, our politicians, get out there and help them. They're the ones that make this happen. Right, and Jim you know, and I talking about that all the time. Campaign for the person you think is going to help you with the arts. You got to help your community, and they're going to help you in return. It's a give and take, you know. Well, I always said, I said it a few times on the show that the SAG office that mm -hmm. in Boston mm -hmm. should, for people like yourself who are trying to do something positive in a good way, yeah. should have a small, you know, interest-free loan for a while to help you out. It would and, help. You, and on the back end, they can get something from the money that you generate and, and, and make. They you, do. You can it's pay them back. It's not the SAG. It's Boston. I know, because I'm a real estate agent, too. Mm -hmm. I was on Flipping Boston TV show. Mayor Menino has a program. If you're ethnic background, mm -hmm. single working business person, 
Sounds like me. So there you far. go. There's <laughs> loans for you. There's loans for you. Yeah. The, the, he just said it on his the mayor's speech not too long ago. You got to check out that. So there are there are. Oh yeah, that's there. there. You know what it is. Available. The thing is, you're not first oh, yeah. in that. So that's where you got to like talk to people and communicate. But you can mm -hmm. have loans. First time business owner, mm -hmm. and the low interest in the community because you're giving back to the community. They're gonna. Mm -hmm. They, just like veterans, right? They, you know what I mean. They got a lot to be of programs able to, out there for yes, veterans. Yes, and yes. Mayor Menino yeah. did it. Talking yeah, about the tax cool. breaks, like Jim, for the motion picture industry. Now we're getting a lot of things here this summer, aren't we? We're getting a few more movies in. The we get studios talking well, about the studios. Yes, the we had studios will be a big part. High of it. Street in Dedham. The, yes. There's one in Springfield. Yeah. And I can kind of say this, but the next movie, Excalibur, which is a high um, action movie, right. guess what? It's going to be the studio is going to be. Chelsea. I live in Chelsea. Really? Oh, my God. Really? Chelsea. oh, yeah, it's coming here. You know when they say build it and they will come? Right. It's happening now. We have the major soundstage in uh, Fort Devens. Yes. And Joan was talking about it. Quinn Eastman was talking about that last time. We have a question. Can we have your question, please? Hello. <laughs> I was wondering if they found that today the, the movies lack story and are more action. And does that make it harder for them to get movie roles? No, because it's in the editing, the the editing no. floor, like like RAPD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. You couldn't find me if you threw me. No, and at me. you know, movies are different than <laughs> TV. There. Most movies, they can. You don't even have to be a great actor. They can cut and splice and edit it. That's Once true. it gets to the editing yeah, floor and all the sci-fi, look, we were in surrogates. Mm -hmm. Everything was digitally imaged in. So if it's a blockbuster movie, it makes high, a lot of money. That's where they. So if they're going to come in and spend $250 million on they did R.I.P.D., which was the biggest, largest buck um, movie right. made Indeed. in the United States, yeah. in Boston. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't realize, yeah. the, oh, I didn't no, realize it the budget was. was that high. It was, it was $200 million? Because there was all kinds of special effects. Right. Yeah. And there were stunts, all kinds of equipment. They need tons of people. Yeah. Good, they good. bring the jobs. Good. They are good for the economy. Oh, sure. Gets people that was a working. Good job to work on. Right. Boston, yeah. Yes. And that's going to be released soon, right? Soon, yeah. That, that's post production. Post production is a, a lot. Yeah. A, a lot yeah. of time was spent in post production on that. Yeah. Because, like she said, it was right. a lot of special effects type stuff, especially when we, you know you did the. Um, uh, the cop scenes yes, and stuff. Yes, yeah. you, you'll see a the lot of things. The stunt driving. Yeah, and you'll see a lot of things in there. And that's, the, and that's we didn't see. You know what now stunt driving I did on that? I sat in my car all day, ate donuts, <laughs> coconut macaroons. I ate like a, a superstar. But <laughs> the, the fact that the post production is so in, intricate and intense it is. proves that we need studios here. In the Definitely. Place. Oh, we need it. We Definitely. need it. Yeah. You, oh, have totally. have, you have to have them to me. Uh, what, what we need here is a, a series. Right. TV. TV. We haven't had yeah. one yeah. since yeah. Spencer for Hire, which was... Right. I was on In the uh, late yeah. 70s, was yeah. it? So yeah. 80s. 80s. Yeah. Yeah. They're building yeah. a TV studio. Somebody just told me, because I ran into some crew people, but we haven't had a TV series since Spencer Hire. Mm -hmm. My brother was in that. Right. We need a TV series, because that's yes. ongoing. Yes. yes. That's, that's money, like... Uh, why you approved when they shot it right. up in Rhode Island for, yeah. for the one year? It, it's jobs each week that you went to. Steady. And steady you become an uh -huh. Emmy right. and you're there mm -hmm. every week because they need you in that certain scene to pick up that bottle mm -hmm. of blood or something. Whatever, yeah. right. Whatever I mean. Yeah. Like, when I was on set with John, even though he's the teacher, I had to teach him how to hold files. <laughs> but you're the one that handed it to yeah, me. Yeah, I we, did. We and had I a good time, but that was a lot of fun. We had a good, yeah, we we had a good, we uh, we had a good time on that. Him. And that was important because that film is going to be released very yeah. shortly. One more uh, time, John. I didn't mean to interrupt. One more time. Phone call, John. <laughs> we have a call. We have a question. Uh, we have your know? question, please. Got the Hello. Hello. Hello, I have a question. If I wanted to get involved, is there a website? Yes. Yes. You can go on the Boston, bostoncasting.com, CP Casting. Sandy Alisi Casting on Facebook. Sandy Alisi Casting. Spelled a little bit weird. Sandy Alisi, you got to spell it for him. It's like S A N D E. Is it D I E? I E. I E. Alisi. But if you, um, if you, start if you go on James Sayers' Facebook, you can get all the information. You can see <laughs> it on everything. <laughs> yes. Yeah, actually, there are there is CP Casting. Yep. But can I give a little hint? Sure. If you're new to the business, don't ever pay for anything, right. okay? Because no. that's yeah, a scam. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. pay. Yeah. Don't get headshots. Mm -hmm. Take your phone, take a picture, download it, mm -hmm. go to CVS. That's mm -hmm. right. Don't pay. They pay you. And that's an important <laughs> thing. Well, I'm glad you mentioned yeah. that because a lot of these, a lot of these casting agencies, you can actually do your own profile yes. online. That's true. That's, yes. that's, that's true. And they want real people. Don't think you have to be glamorous, beautiful. They want right. real they people. They want everyday people. Yes. 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 Well, what, what about that, what about the neighborhood plays? If I want to get into like the South End plays, mm -hmm. uh, the Charlestown plays, is there a In website? The 
Uh, that You'd have to Google has. it. Yeah, no. yeah. Uh, in the, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You can, you can go on to our Facebook page, In the Moment Entertainment. Uh, you can go on my Facebook page, and uh, you can get it through there as well. Um, and you can contact myself, or you can go on Lee Smith's page mm -hmm. and contact us, and we can give you further information. Or at the end, I'm sure we're going to pop up uh, gonna, phone fact, numbers, and you can give right. us a call. I'd like to do that actually now for the people that have just joined us and the people that, if you have to leave. If they wanted to get in contact with you. Me? Probably, yeah. So do you have um, a I actually, I have a couple of Facebook pages because I do real estate. I do promotions. I do acting. Everything. I'm a single mother. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I need time management now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but if um, they can go on Lori V, send me a message. I'll give them any information, okay. help them out. i let them know the avenues. The, and that was a great question you asked about getting into community theater because that is the best foundation. Yeah. I'll say. So yeah. what yeah. I would do, yeah. whatever community you live in, find out where the theater is. Go there, talk to the people, say, how can I get involved? You know, when I first did in UMass, I did lighting. I, believe it or not, I was a little bit shy. So let me see how it is behind the scenes. Mm, you yeah, right. had my shy moment for a minute there, you know? So, you know, if you get involved, you'll learn about it, and you'll see where your forte is, where you want to fit. So when you want to direct your independent film, you know about lighting. We have a question. <laughs> have a question right? I mean, you have to do everything in this business, right? <laughs> Question, please. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, yes. I um, not long tuned in, so I'm trying to figure out what it is uh, you're talking about. But um, the l young lady mentioned uh, a series, a television series. There was another one, Against the Law, which yep. I was in with Michael Key. That's right. That, yeah. got, that didn't and get Savannah picked up, though. Douglas. Yeah, it never got picked up as a pilot. Right. When we say that, it w w I mean, there's been a lot of pilots filmed yeah, here, just, yeah. but they don't get yeah. picked up. And the reason why... It's because we don't have a studio. Right. That's right. the bottom line. Hopefully yeah. that will change, right? Yeah, right. that will change. Yeah. Because change. Before, before there was actually the actual um, um, reality Boston. Yeah, we're finest, in the reality. We, we did, a, yeah. we did a, a pilot for a series that was supposed to have been called Boston's Finest right. with mm -hmm. uh, Richard T. Jones and Neil Long. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I was in that as well, and mm -hmm. that never got picked up. What Boston is known for now is reality shows. I yeah. mean, it's a good way. You can't no. really bash anything because you get your name out there. You never right. know. They might discover you. I have a lot of friends that went on that. They never had an acting class in their life. They were who they are. Just be who you yes. are. Right? right? That's true. And industrials. Industrials are like, say, you have to teach somebody about Biogen or something. So somebody will come up and do industrials. That's the market here so far. But the future is mm -hmm. coming. And we, we obviously were doing the movies. Definitely. There's five right. movies this summer. Five what? movies coming really? through. Yeah. Hello? Hopefully, Sandy and Lisi comes up with that. But the other thing is too, you got to be careful of scams. And I just—I don't mean to cut anybody off, but right. when we worked on the movie Heat, I did stand in and I did extra work. And um, through now, this was how many months ago? This All of a sudden, last, I get this August. Yeah. Facebook message from this lady who's not even my friend. Right. She says she works for not the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald. And she wanted to ask me about standing, and she wanted to ask me about Sandra Bullock. All this jerk. I said, first of all, I mean, you're an actress. She goes, oh, I can take your stories, and maybe I can. She wasn't giving me credit, and she wasn't giving me paid. I said, listen, I can't talk about it. I signed a contract, okay? Exactly. And I'm not going to talk about mm -hmm. stuff that I signed a contract. I'm serious about my craft, and I'm a union actress. You're going to come to me? Who right. reads the Boston Herald anyways? Nobody reads the paper. You know what? I was offended by it. I said, you know what, lady? Please don't ever contact me again. But there's an ethical issue there, too. There's yeah, totally an ethical time. issue. Big time. You know what? You're a reporter. Go out there and get the story. Don't be coming to me, because I'm... I'm trying to get the jobs every day because right. I don't have a manager. You know, it's like that really was not a good way to come. Your integrity to is key, and, and, and people know that yes. more than in, in any other profession. Yes. People mm -hmm. see it. You, you yes. are what you are. You yeah. are who you are. But so I did have another uh, question yep. I didn't get uh, across. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I am non union. I've been doing it for over 25 years. And with the different casting directors, okay. would you suggest joining the union? I did get a voucher as a stand-in for a while back with LBI. So I'm wondering now, as I'm getting older, I really love acting and I want to pursue it. I thought to go to California, but someone said, "What are you going there for? Everything's yeah. happening here. Boston is becoming the new Hollywood." You go, James, because we're not easy. James. You, James. you tell him, James, the master. James well, is the union master. We'll leave it to him on this. The one. thing I'd say, if you want to join the union, it's you, you might not work as much, but the good part about it is you might get a role in something, a speaking role. And then you're successfully... And, and you get paid more when you're... Yes, you get oh, paid a well, lot explain more. Explain when you get a speaker, what happens to you on a movie or a TV show, what happens? Well, you Even get a, a commercial. You get credited. 
and that's most important. And you important. get residuals. You get every residuals. Time every time it's shown, it's yep, it will, you get a check in the mail, and it could last for years. But the most important thing, you said you have a voucher, and you need two more of them to get into the union. I would go that way because the more movies that are coming here, the more people they're going to look for union workers, yes. and I think that's the way to and go. And you know what? But who do I Let have? me explain something how yeah, you do um, it. So you have one voucher for stand-in, right? The way to get into SAG is either you have, even if you have one speaking line, one line, mm -hmm. you're a principal, you yeah. get in, you pay you your do. dues, yeah. and then you pay your dues every year. And now Massachusetts has a thing where it's just Massachusetts, and you pay $1,500. And if you want to be national, it's like $2,600. So you have to decide what's for you. Do you want to travel to New York, Connecticut? Because if you don't, then you pay just the Massachusetts rate. Mm -hmm. Because you're looking at a lot of money to shell out, okay? The other way, you have mm -hmm. one standing. You get Taff Hartley, which happens is every movie, every TV has a contract. That's and how I got it. Yep. Per, but you're talented. <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh. <laughs> you. They needed you. But with the Taff Hartley is actually was a politician that came out. Yep. And with per the contact contract, excuse me, per the movie, they have to hire so many SAG people. And say they need a typecast like Ty Tyrone and they can't find it. So they gotta get a regular non union person, give them a Taff Hartley mm -hmm. for that day the union person. And he gets paid union. Union. Mm -hmm. oh, for that day. For that so you day. need three union, union vouchers. Is it stand in? Is it principal? <laughs> is one. Mm -hmm. Is it stand in? Is it Taff Hartley? Three, then you join the union, then you decide you want to be local or national, and it's up to you. It's an individual thing. It's, it's what you want to do. It's not that easy. I was told by Julie Woods to ask your casting director. Have you known her for a long time? Yeah, I have. Now, She's so. not a casting director. She works for the SAG office. I know. Yeah. But, but she told She's a great me. person. She is a wealth of knowledge. So whatever she tells you, I would, is, is good retired. information. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Whatever Julie said. It's, go it's like that. it's like God. Let's go, yeah. go with it. Yeah. <laughs> the, one, the, the, the one that gives out uh, vouchers is Billy Dow, but he doesn't Billy, come here. That no, time. he comes once in a while. He's great. He's been He's in the best forever. Ever. The, the main thing is that you enjoy what you're doing. Mm. We yes. have projects coming here to the Bay State that you're yes. able to take part in, mm -hmm. and if you do have an opportunity to join the union and you think it would be conducive because you really do take this seriously, then I, I would say go for it. You have to weigh the pros it. and cons, yeah. and it's an yeah. individual thing. I would say go thing. for it. Nobody okay. can tell you to do it. Like, they wanted me to be in on the SAG unit, flipping non-union jobs to union jobs. And it's not so much flipping people, it's flipping the jobs. Because we need to make this a union working state so we can get more money. The difference between being non-union union, even if you do extra work, you make $80. When you're a union person, you make a base, and each hour after eight hours, you make money. You, it's a tier situation. You make more money. <laughs> you get fed like a I'm king. Down, <laughs> you know, so, and it depends on what you want, but it's a lot of money to get into, and right. you have to be serious about it. And the other That's thing true. about the union is, if you work 72 days in four months, you get benefits, you work, you, you work into your retirement. So, you know what, say, I, there's a lot of retired people that do it, and they're, like, mm -hmm. they're having fun doing it, and they're paying into their pension, and they're having fun, and they're making money. So right. you decide, you know? Thank you. I think okay. Thank you another so phone much. call. I'm sorry, John. Do we have yeah. another phone call? Yeah. Okay. Can we have your question, please? Um, oh, I'm what, sorry. Well, that's okay. It, there's, there's one, the there is again. one coming through right now, but yeah, what we're going to do is, so Jim, you got, we've got five films coming here this summer? We have a few, John. I know that. I know the Denzel Washington, which I've right. been talking about for months, right. yes. is finally coming up, and it's going to be here, and I think that's going to be a major movie for everybody. Right. Yes. I, yes. That's going to be a now, major movie. The tax breaks, and Jim and I talk about this all the time, about the importance of tax breaks, and when we get back, we come back from this phone call, we're going to yeah. talk a little yeah, bit about yeah. that. Can we have your question, yes. please? <laughs> Yes, hi. I have no questions. I just <laughs> want to say, give a shout out to John and Tyrone. Thank and you. it's nice to Thank meet you. Lee Smith. I look forward to seeing him on the 28th and the 29th. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I can't talk long because I have a granddaughter that's not doing very well, Aww. but I'm enjoying the show. We'll, we'll, think, of we'll, we'll think of her. We'll think of her. And Helen, thank you. Helen. Yes. often calls us on the show, and, and thank you. It's so nice to hear your voice. And, and tell that, that young lady that I said that I'm going to be her assistant pretty soon. <laughs> I'm going to be, oh, that's play catch up to her. Patrick, she's wonderful. You know, I'm going to do that. All right? And you all have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. you. Uh, you know, uh, Tyrone, okay. and of course, Helen's a friend of, of Tyrone and myself, but Helen's active in the community. Yes, yes, she is, and um, and that's so important. There's so many people oh, yeah. in our community that that, that she very saw you on the yes. show and then called in. Right. Um, um, we go way back. Her uh, oldest son and I played um, little league baseball together. Uh, um, against each other, 
and then her uh, youngest son actually played for me uh, mm -hmm. when I became a coach later on, um, as I had stated earlier. So, um, yeah, we have a long history. We have a lot of talented people in the in our community, and, the and I community. want them yeah. to come out nice. that are not discovered. And, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and those yeah. that think, like I said before, Natural when I've been talent. on the show, yes. come yeah. out. You mm -hmm. know, come out. Um, come down mm -hmm. and, and, and see Lee Smith and myself mm -hmm. uh, every Saturday, one to four. Yep. Uh, Blackstone Community Center. Just walk in and tell them you're looking for in the moment right. entertainment. We, and yeah. And yeah, we do auditions also. We do auditions yeah. every time. We have projects forthcoming. I don't think yes. there has been one aspect of the entertainment industry we haven't covered tonight. Maybe not radio, but I mean, everything that we've covered precision driving, stand up comedy, well, yeah, film, television, singing. community things. No, you know, we really haven't just. <laughs> but like, it's. If you're new to the business, <laughs> people don't know what an audition is. They don't know what a go-see right. is. Yeah. You know, it's like, and, and it's self-discovery. And you learn by talking to people, That's your true. other peers, your co colleagues, doing research, going to plays, being a spectator. You know, it's like... Being part of everything. Exactly. Yeah, like... Exactly. Yeah. exactly being well-rounded. Right. Yes, it's key. that's key Although for I think life, I, too. I think, yeah. that's the, I think of it's all key. of the things, and, and, and uh, training on stage is, yes. is key, but I think stand-up... I've done comedic well, acting, stand-up comedy is... is well, so how do you say that? Because it's a t right. statistic. There's probably only about 582 people who make a living and constitute as a living is... What's the living standard? $35,000? Right. Right. As stand-up. Right. John, is a phone call? Another right? call? Yeah. That's we have a, a tough field. We have another question. Can we have a question? Uh, hi, this is for Tyrone. Hi. Tyrone, has anyone ever told you you look a lot like Tyler Perry? And have you ever done voiceovers? Because <laughs> you've got a beautiful voice. <laughs> so maybe we can talk about the singing there. Maybe yeah, the singing there. Uh, talk deep, talk deep. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I, I, I haven't gotten to Tyler Perry's very reference, but thank you very much. That's a uh, to me. That's a great honor and a compliment. Um, knowing where, knowing his story and where he came hmm. from and where he's at and um, everything like that. I, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Great. I hope to be that one day or be near that um, status one day. Um, what was the other question? I got befundled yeah. by that. You're so know. handsome you and charming, and your voice is unbelievable. Voiceovers. We haven't talked about voiceovers. I would yeah. love to do voiceovers. Yeah. I've been told yeah. that many years. You need you. You got a voice for voiceover. You, do. you got a voice for radio. You do. I'm open for both. I'm ready right. to do both. Well, everybody in this business is pretty I much open to everything. Yeah. I was yeah. taught by Joan Quinn Eastman right. voiceovers, and also Chris Palamo. He teaches voiceover classes. There's many voiceover coaches you yes. can take. He taught me free because I worked on my ass movie Mavens. So um, it's a great job here. Yeah. Yeah. We got another phone call, Can John. it be, Jim? Can it be? <laughs> Everybody's on. Can we have your question, please? Sure. This question is for Lee Smith. Mm -hmm. um, speaking about Tyler Perry a while ago, Lee, what do you enjoy about theater, and do you see yourself branching out possibly into film later? Uh, what do I love about theater? Uh, Everything. Um, I started out as an actor. Well, I guess I'm still an actor. I mean, right. you never stop acting regardless of where you go exactly, in the right. industry, film, theater. Um, I, I see myself, I guess, long-term, you know, directing for however right. I can. But I love training actors. I love training actors. I mean, Tyrone yes. um, and I worked together on some other things in the past. Um, he knows how I am as far as training actors. I love training my own actors. Not that I have to be exclusive. I'm not mandating that of course right. but um, when a director is working with an actor who's, who's not familiar with his, his style so to speak that's when you have conflicts mm. sometimes I mean if you're working with someone like Steven Spielberg or whomever whatever and you're like gee I don't think like it because he's, you know, yeah. you know, I, I'm, not, I'm demanding in a way but I'm also fair yeah. Um, I try not to belittle actors because I know most of my prima donnas and then we like to have our way I've been there <laughs> but um, but I love training actors because I like I don't care how good you you are or where you've been. There's something inside that you haven't reached yet. No, you're right. There's always some place you haven't been, um, and I, I bring it out. And so far, the record's been great. That's a great talent yeah. to be able to teach somebody that and takes I, a, that takes a unique person because not patience. a lot of people. Yeah. And I will I tell a, you, a this man. Patience. I will tell you, this man will get out of you <laughs> whatever you have in there that you don't know you have. He's going to bring it up. Talking. That reminds me of something like Audrey Hepburn. I watched her on right. um, the Actors Workshop. She mm -hmm. said, they said, how do you like draw into these 
crying and she, she goes, I go into my life experience. Yes. Like you said, Definitely. as a kid or whatever, and mm -hmm. I touch it. And right. you bring, right. that's a great director right. to be able to do that. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, you know, a lot of people talk to me as far as how do I cry. You can cry like this. You don't have to, re some have to think of something. And it's part of the psychology of training actors. It's not just, I, I was there, so I understand that right. side of it. It's not just coming in as a director and do what I say. No, I understand. Some people need something to draw on, uh, death or life or happy. I can just do it. But I know you need something. Yeah. Some people can do it also. But wherever it is, it's there. Just yeah. bring it out. You know, if you got to think of something, think of something. Yeah. But eventually, I want to train you to not have to think of something, yeah. just to do it. Use those tools in your exactly. little kit. Yeah. It, it has to be indirect after a while. You yeah. shouldn't have to, okay, it's a fear, okay, it's be like sad. It's like part of your persona. It, it right. is. Yeah. Emotions, that's why you, yeah. you're in the moment. You're like, that's... <laughs> in the moment. Because right it, now. Yeah, emotions you can control if you really, really thought Definitely. about it. Yeah. You, can, you don't have to cry in an accident. You can be, I don't know, concerned and caring, whatever. No, you're right. And the tears come out because you, you, you convince yourself it's a sad right. moment. It's a sad moment. Therefore, right. that level of emotion is controlled by you, but you don't know it. I know it. Yeah. Wow. Community theater that's, that's and theater <laughs> That's itself pretty is intense, but I know what you're saying. I know yeah. exactly yeah. what you're saying. It's so important. Community theater is yes. so important in this city. Yeah. As it's well a great trainer. Else. Right. You know, I mean, not, not training me to stop it. It's the best foundation for anything. It is. Because you is. can always, and theater is very live, but you can bring it down when you're in film and stuff. Ted Lewis, the uh, our social media guru, that's Jim and I have him on the show, but, like, <laughs> so this often, one. our social media guru, <laughs> you know where he is at this very moment? Where? Yeah. He's interviewing Cicely Tyson in New, in New York. York. My goodness. He's the winner of the play. The play that she, yeah. she uh, got the Tony for Trip to Bount Bountiful. Right. Really? And he's interviewing her right now as we speak. So good luck, wow. Ted. And it'll be on our yeah. website. It'll be really? on the website, I yeah. believe. Wow. Ted will put it right on there. Bon chance. Yeah. Very, very that's, important. That's an honor right there. Right. I mean, she's, she's a legend. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I agree with you. Yeah, I, uh, I saw yeah. something. Her, she was doing something. Maybe that was it. I saw something on, on YouTube or something with her in it because she's back into like theater right. also. Mm -hmm. and, right. and speaking on that point there, I mean, not to get off Cicely because she's a legend. A lot of actors, film wise, go back to theater to yes. hone the they skills. Well, we remember her from 1972 Sounder. Remember she was I remember Sounder. Sounder. Uh, <clears throat> well, barely. Oh, no, yeah, I know. Yeah, I was like 14 yeah. when I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, you look wow. good. Thank you. <laughs> well, I was a teenage talk show host. Don't make yeah. the comedian come out. <laughs> we only have a few minutes left. Oh. Can you believe that, Jim? Where did Quirk. the time go? The hour goes yes. by. Great program. guest. You have the great so, guest. So, Laurie. Give us an idea of people wanted to contact you and talk to you. Um, they can contact me on Facebook. It's Lori V, L-O-R-I-V. Um, if they want to, I have an email. I don't know. If Doesn't matter. If, yeah. if you think that's, that's appropriate, that's fine. No, yeah, they may Facebook, talk because to I'm, I mean, I'm on there all the time. They can shoot me a message, uh, and I will definitely, they can Google me. Right. My name's Lori Vizella, L-O-R-I. Vizella V's and Victory O Z Z E L L A. So my contact information's there. Okay. Um, you know, you got a phone today, smartphones, videotape mm. yourself. I do this thing, it's stupid. It's called Coffee Talk. I did a thing, Sports Nuts, with my well, friend. Well, people Jamie. have a good, a good idea of yeah, where like, you're coming from. You're so right. Uh, <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> very Go important. To two weeks, within two yes. weeks, yes. a very Go important Facebook, place if you coming need to up. contact me, Tyrone Alcorn, uh, A L C O R N. Me, not my son. Um, <laughs> he's junior, he's senior. Uh, and um, you can contact me there for any in the moment entertainment information, okay. uh, show information, June 28th at 7 p.m., June 29th at 2 p.m., Blackstone Community Center. Um, if you want to come down, audition, or, or get more um, um, skill. You know, get, get and that's taught what I was by ask Lee Smith. Right. Lee, one, one to four every Saturday. Really? I'm, I'm interested, but I want to have you train. Kids are welcome. Yes. Yeah, um, definitely training. Um, you know, and also just to add, the Tyrone sort of mentioned the show, so I'll just add the training aspect. Right. Um, it's not just training for a theater. No. Because it's acting training for theater, because I, I had film training in Boston years ago. Right. Which so, is a little different. Yeah, yeah, it's somewhat, mm. but same basics, mm -hmm. exact same basics. You learn to express. That's what you need to learn to express honestly. If you feel it, the audience will feel it. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah, my message. You're right you know? about but that. you need to be trained in that. Mm -hmm. Some, even with natural talent, you still need to know how to project Stand. it and when to bring it back right. and when right. to bring it forward. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot, yes, but after it becomes natural, it's simple. It's easy to teach. I have no problem. Jim, the yes. film credits. 
Tell us a little about that. Are we still, We're still trying to contact our state reps? You have to, yes. To keep it, you always got to contact okay. them because this, you know, in the economy well, we're in, it's tough, you right. know, for them to keep it when there's so much other stuff right. that they're trying to cut it. Because the flip side of it, people, we're filming movies like, for example, and you're shutting off streets in the city. Yeah. Mm. And then you have these people who complain, but you know what? We're bringing money to the city, no, tourists are coming. In every, so in you every bring possible the positive way. Economy. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. including PR. Yes. Yeah. Including yeah. PR. People always see the movies, Cheers, we went on the TV <coughs> show, Cheers, and they say, let's go. Cheers, up to a few years ago, was the number one tourist event in really? Boston. That's true. Yeah. Well, when Hawaii, one. and I mentioned this on the program, Hawaii Five-O was shot uh, in the late 60s and, and 70s, and the, the number one tourist attraction there was the set of Hawaii Five-O in Honolulu. Yeah. Yes. You wouldn't think that, but people love this. Yeah, know, they, they do. They right. love this They industry. do. If you're not in it, you love it. it. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, we love it, but they love it as a spectator right. watching and stuff, yeah. And that's why it's important, folks. Contact your state reps, mm -hmm. your state senators here in Massachusetts and say, look, yes. we want to continue to have the motion picture industry come here to the Bay State, make movies here. So contact, the, contact them and say you're in favor of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that'll help. Because it's about the numbers. Yeah, and not right? only that, of people yeah. who theater, want to yeah, make theaters, theaters also, but theater, theater in place, also. it also helps them. Because right. it's the same, the same world, it's a different aspect of it, same coin. Yep. Uh, Nick Collins, who was running for, in fact, he's a, he's a representative in, in Boston, South Boston, he was instrumental in, in writing a bill to, uh, like, the mm. tax credits yes. for the, for the uh, uh, plays and the musicals that come down, mm -hmm. to here, down here to the theater district. And that's important as well. And everybody, reason, everybody, yeah. we're all into this acting stuff, so we're all involved in everybody. We got to help them, and they got to help us. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If I can add also, even for comedians, I was one, well, several, well, one or two that I can remember right now um, talked to me, like, how can I um, make my uh, stage presence better? We do that also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come because on now. It's, yeah, because it's, because it's the same thing. You're expressing the same thing, same foundation. Mm -hmm. You're a comedian. Some comedians, I noticed, even the professional, some, they're right there. You have to use the stage. Yeah, like John My and I. Goodness, Zamo, he's stage. running back and forth. He's yeah, but not too much, though. It's, it's a balance type yeah, thing. Yeah, that's true. You know, people over there want to hear, too. The lady in the background, way in the back, want to hear, well, that's too. The, you know, <laughs> they always say the best foundation of anything is theater. That's what you learn. Like you say when they come back. Come down. And you look at Broadway. You know what I mean? Oh it's like you got to be very talented you to do to theater. Be. You, you have, have to be. That's good. Yeah. yeah. You know who got us start at the Wilbur Theater many years ago? I remember the Wilbur Theater. <gasps> Marlon Brand. My first stand-in was at Stella. the Strand Theater. For Earth. In Dorchester? Yeah, for the yes. Batwoman. Oh, yeah. I was like... Was Beautiful. It's still being I used. It's still, Strand Theater yes. is still being yes. used. Yes. And that's, yes. going, that's going, history. Going through back. Yes. And that was built 1918. And that was one of the premier theaters here in Boston. Going back to what that caller said at the beginning of the show, there are, there are lots of space here in the city yes. right, to it's utilize. Getting, that's getting true. It, lots but of space. Venues. But it costs money. Yeah, that's true. It costs true. money. And the main thing is to de development, mm -hmm. push our political world to say, look, we want the tax breaks here. Mm -hmm. Private, foundations, our private foundations, exactly. develop the community, the community, community yes. theaters yes. and yes. the community programs. You do fundraising, like this this thing called Kickstart. Like I have 5,000 mm -hmm. friends on Facebook. Mm -hmm. If everybody donates $2, one dollar, I get ten thousand dollars, and that could be for like a little short for community kids, for kids to help. Exactly. Them. You know, so that's where it starts. Well, where did the time go? That's it. Wow. Jim. John. July nineteenth. <laughs> July nineteenth. I mean, in the in the mid <laughs> midsummer, in the in here in Boston, midsummer, July nineteenth, we'll be on another program here. Sounds like a romance. On BNN TV. <laughs> yes. Probably talking about a lot of films that we were... Hopefully in the studios. We might have a guest who has something to do with it. That's correct. Really? Yes. Well, thanks, thanks to everybody for being on the Thank program you. tonight. Thank and uh, join us next time right here on BNN TV. Yes. Thank you.